If you like free makeup or just free stuff in general, which come on, nowadays who doesn't like free stuff, then go ahead and stay tuned. Continue watching the video to see how you guys can enter in to win this blue blood palette right here which is just oh, such a beautiful beautiful palette look i have the second one right here just waiting to be shipped off to one of you guys so i wasn't sure whenever i was filming this video if i was going to make this video the giveaway video but i wanted to get the giveaway video up as soon as possible so i am going to incorporate the giveaway in this video and you guys will have a chance to win this palette right here oh i can't open it it is so, so freaking beautiful. Do you guys see that? Like, look at all the detailing and everything. I am just so impressed. And look at those shades. Wow. Throughout the video, you guys are going to be given three rules to enter the giveaway. Three things you have to do in order to qualify and enter your name into this giveaway. And I will give you guys the first rule right now, which is super easy. Subscribe to my channel. Second rule will probably be more in the middle of the video and the last rule will be more towards the end. So you guys do have to watch through the video all the way in order to get those three rules. So good luck to everyone who's going to enter the giveaway and thank you so much for supporting my channel and I don't want this to be a million years long so let's get into the video. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this Mayron Basics palette right here and I'm going to pick up a little bit of green and a little bit of white until we make this minty green shade right here. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the lid and blend it out. And I'm just gonna do little bits at a time and layer it until I get the intensity that I want. And you wanna kinda work fast with this product as it does dry down very quickly. I'm gonna bring this color into my crease and above my crease because it is gonna help transition all the colors together and just help with all the blending. So once you get the intensity that you want, I'm gonna go ahead and take that palette again. I'm gonna grab the green and then I'm gonna add some blue, some white, and if I need it a little bit darker, I'm gonna adjust that with some black. You wanna get something like this shade right here in the center. And what I'm gonna do with this color is I'm not gonna bring it as high as the last color. I'm gonna keep it a little bit lower and slowly build it up and blend it out. So once you've built up that intensity a little bit, you're going to end up with something like this and it's just going to act as a nice base for all the shadows that we're going to lay down. It's also going to help with the blending process of those shadows. Then you want to go ahead and make sure that that is all dried down before you start laying shadows down. So I'm just going to wait here for a couple minutes. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade right here which is called Cremated. And I'm going to start laying that down on the outer corners of the eye and just a little bit above the crease because when we do the cut crease, I do have hooded eyes and I want this color to show through. I'm going to be using padding motions instead of swiping motions. I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here, which is called Flourishing. And I'm just going to use that to help blend this out. So what I like to do here is I like to kind of go up with my hand and kind of flick upwards a little bit. And using padding motions instead of swiping motions. And I'll kind of lift my eyes like that too. And I feel that just flicking it upwards like this, it does help blend it out a little bit more and it's a little bit easier to work with. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this shade right here called Mint Tea. And this is gonna be the lightest color that we're using. And this is just gonna go on the outer parts right here just to help diffuse the color so that way it's just not one, one harsh line right there. This will really help diffuse those colors. Now 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the crease, so I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and a concealer brush and start carving that out. And I'm going to go a little bit above my natural crease. The second rule to the giveaway is super easy. Just go ahead and leave a comment down below of your absolute favorite makeup product of all time. It could be anything. It could be concealer, foundation, bronzer, highlighter. You know, anything that you absolutely love that is like your die-hard makeup product. Go ahead and leave that in the comment section below along with anything like an email, an Instagram, a Twitter. Just somewhere where I can contact you. And it doesn't really have to be perfect the first time because we are going to clean it up in a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a Q-tip and some micellar water and just clean this up right here. Just get all that color and all that pigment off of this area. So we have a clean base to work with. take this deepest shade again cremated and use that to intensify this cut crease it's okay if you get a little bit into the part where we cleaned up because we are going to clean it up one more time now I'm going to take some more concealer again and really clean this up and be more precise than last time. I feel like these steps are always really repetitive, but very necessary in my opinion. So I'm gonna take my cellar water again and a Q-tip and clean this up one more time. And then next I'm gonna take the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and just use this for my base for the rest of the shadows that we're gonna put on this area. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more of that deepest shade that we used cremated and again like I said repetitive but I am going to carve out this cut crease to just really intensify it and add a lot of depth into the look. Now what I like to do for this part is I actually like to take my finger and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this shade cremated right here and I'm just going to stamp this on the outer part of my eye and I like using my finger because it really gives that intensity and the most color payoff. And then next I'm going to go into the shade flourishing again which is this shade right here with another finger. And I'm going to also take just the tiniest bit of blue blood on top of that. And just bring that more towards the center. And then after those colors are blended together, I'm going to take this shade right here, mint tea. And I'm going to use that to set the lid. Then I'm going to take a little bit of flourishing again, just a little bit, and I'm just going to kind of just flick it around right here just to help blend and mesh those colors together. Urban Decay Heavy Metals Glitter in the shade Midnight Cowboy. And I'm just going to ever so carefully, I feel like I'm going to mess up just because I'm filming and every time I film I just have to mess up this part. I'm just going to add this glitter right along the cut crease. I'm going to let this dry, that's why I'm kind of lifting up my lids right now, and I'm going to pop on some lashes and I will be right back. And finish my face makeup, I'm just going to show you guys the products that I'm using. That way this video isn't super duper long, and I'm just going to kind of fast forward through this part. So remember the first rule is to be subscribed to my channel, and the second rule is to leave a comment, favorite makeup product, along with somewhere, an email, Twitter, Instagram, anything, anywhere where I can contact you. And last but not least, just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, guys. Super, super simple, super easy. The giveaway is only open to the United States, and I'm sorry, but I have to do that because shipping is just crazy otherwise. 
Um, so yeah, good luck to everyone and enjoy the rest of the video. So what we're going to do for the bottom of the eyes is just going to be super simple. I'm going to go ahead and take this deepest shade we have right here, which again is cremated. And I'm just going to smudge that right here on the lower lash line and kind of flick it upwards. I'm going to take that next shade that we used, which was flourishing. And I'm going to smudge that out just a little bit more than that last shade. Bringing it down just a tad bit more and still flicking it upwards to blend in. And then lastly, I'm going to take that shade Mint Tea. And just work it on the lowest part. Again, flicking it upwards. I'm just going to take some mascara on the lower lashes. Then I'm going to take this white shimmer shade right here and I'm going to pop that on the inner corners. Ooh, that is way too much. And then I'm just going to take a little bit just below that brow bone. And I'm going to take the Kylie Jenner matte, I think it's her matte lipstick in the shade Flirtini. I'm going to top it with this Buxom Gloss in the shade Mudslide. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Good luck to everyone who entered the giveaway. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And I just wish you guys the best of luck. I am a smaller channel, so, you know, your chances of winning are way more likely than a lot of other giveaways. So yeah, thank you so much for supporting me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.